open borders is such an important issue in our country because we are losing our national identity. A secure border meaning safe national identity. And a country without a national identity will completely deteriorate and fall apart. The left often touts the issue of open borders as one of compassion. But what is the reality? I traveled to the border with a delegation connected to the White House. And I went down with cer certain perceptions on what was going on. But I learned so much there. The first thing that I learned is that it is really evil that is driving this immigration. In that by what I mean is that it's a smuggling, a billion dollar smuggling ring that evildoers in Mexico and South America are profiting from. And that's what's driving the immigrants to come up. It's, it's dollars. So we have evil smugglers who are utilizing the bad laws in the United States in order to profit. And of course, the political turmoil that has, has brought to our nation is really amazing. Just how bad is the human smuggling south of the border? So the smuggling that's going on at the border right now is simply that families will pay $5,000 or $8,000 in order to be transported to the border. That's what the cost is. Now, sometimes the smugglers get the money up front. Sometimes the smugglers say, give me a little bit right now, and then when you get in America, you send money to your family, and then the family will give us the money. And if your family doesn't give us the money, then they're going to be uncomfortable. And so there is a huge political uh, issue here that has to be dealt with in terms of this illegal trafficking. Sadly, like so many other things today, the issue of borders has been highly politicized with rationality often trampled on in the process. The idea of borders, I think most people with common sense, including most people on the left, until this president was elected, all understand the idea that borders are important, that protecting borders, having borders uh, is important. Everybody understands it. Uh, and, and I think that we're in a kind of a, you know, a time of political theater where some people pretend that borders are somehow bad or divisive. It's, it's kind of silly. It's like saying, I'm not gonna have walls on my house because I don't want to offend people who might want to wander into my kitchen. We are a nation of immigrants. My own family emigrated over here. Part of my emigrated family, one of them was a president of the United States. I'm a, I'm a descendant of a president of the United States who was an immigrant. And so I, I completely uh, believe in an uh, in, in immigration system, but it has to be legal. It has to be controlled. What we've got right now are catch and release. And, and if you just come over in the United States and you bring a child with you, you're allowed to come into the nation. And then you're allowed to live. And all you have to do is show up for your amnesty court case. And it's been shown that 94% of those people that come across the border don't show up for their amnesty case. And so they're just living illegally in the United States of America. So our immigration system, that is the result of both political parties over decades, has got to be fixed. Inside this old warehouse in South Texas, the U.S. Customs and Border Patrol is keeping hundreds of immigrant children in cages created by metal fencing. There is a common allegation that children at the border are being separated from their families and then put in cages. We are creating a generation of children that will never forget what we did to them. The reason why they're separating children from parents uh, because, well, children from parents is because of sex trafficking. So what happens is the smugglers find a child, rent a child. You know, unfortunately, in some of the desperate situations in South America, children are sold, ch children are given away to, to these smugglers who just want to come across the border. And so they have this child with them, and we don't know if they're family or not. And so because of the problem, it's really a way to protect people. It's not a way to damage families. That was the intent of separating children from families, only temporarily, in order to determine that they are actually a family unit. 
Indeed, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services reports that 83% of the children in their custody, quote, arrived to the United States without a parent or guardian, end quote. But some people ask, aren't we supposed to show compassion to everyone? I become weary of Christians saying, well, Jesus was an immigrant. You know, he and his parents, they went down into Egypt. Well, number one, we don't know that they broke any laws. And number two, they did go back, by the way. But the other thing that's important is that you can't take a story like that and then apply it to America's foreign policy and what policies we should have. Romans chapter 13 makes it clear that the government has the responsibility of bearing the sword. And the point that I like to make is that the symbol of the church is the cross, the symbol of the state is the sword, and we need to keep those two realms distinct. I think that there is a view of the Democrats that it will give them a lot of new voters if they champion open borders. It's also a fallacy to say America's always been a country that had open arms, as if that means open borders. We do have open arms, but not open borders. Well, open borders is national suicide. Um, polls show us that 170 million people in Latin America would like to come to the United States. I don't blame them. I, if I lived in one of those countries, I'd want to come here too. But we cannot absorb 170 million people. At some point, if you have open borders, enough people will have left from Latin America to come to America that America will become more like the country they left than the country they want to come to. Yeah, it, it, borders are what makes a country. Just like walls and a roof are what make a home a home, uh, borders are what make a country a country. And if you don't have borders, then you don't have a country.